Hari mai, kia ora, welcome to May Earth Predictions Reading. If you've been following the series, you'll be doing it probably because you're as interested as I am in this facet of readings because they're quite different from the other readings I do on my channel. And uh, they just kind of deal more with the physical side of the planet's energies and what is going on on the surface of, of our planet, if you like, and maybe the connection that some of us have with it. So, um, yeah, I guess we'll start at the beginning, and we see here the sun for the beginning of May. Obviously, when um, I see the sun, I think of solar activity, and I've mentioned it several times. I follow a channel on YouTube, YouTube called Suspicious Observers. I'll put a link in below to his channel if any of you are interested. He has great topical information regards the sun, so solar observing, and the interaction it plays with our lives and our universe and how we're all connected, which I firmly uh, agree with and follow that basic philosophy, I guess. So when I see the sun, I think of solar activity. And in this card, it is particularly vibrant and, um, you know, full on, like, so it makes me think of potential uptick in solar activity or something that is aligned to the sun, which could be planetary alignment, which we see here as well, and the moon. So the reading seems to have a big feel of astrology, space, and our connection to it. So when the sun has a solar uptick, it can be CMEs, it can be sunspot number increases or um, an unusual activity around sunspots, filament eruptions, or it could even be coronal hole issues or things along those lines. Now when the sun has a big um, outburst like this, we see this massive ejector coming from the sun in this card, it can affect us here on earth in a variety of ways so it gives us solar charged particles which if you like are, i guess are radioactive particles that get fiercely directed at us and they bombard our planet so it can affect our magnetosphere in particular which can allow for changes at our level including quake changes volcanic activity um, anomalies to do with radio blackouts and it can affect animals that live off magnetic um, sourcing. So think, I think of whales, and sea creatures like dolphins and birds which use the magnetics of our planet for their directional um, journeys that they take. So we could see something to do with those energies if the sun produces large outbursts directed at us. So whether or not we see a mass um, whale stranding or mass bird die off and increased activity in volcanoes or some big quakes. We also see here children around the maypole. Oh, I always love that. I call it the maypole, I think it is, but what synchronicity is that? We're talking for the May reading and this has happened before in previous years that this card does come out for May with the maypole. So there could be something in May that's quite a big celebration somewhere for some countries around the world. I'm unaware of any in particular. And there could be something to do with children in specifically. And sometimes it's incidents with children that may not be that good but are brought to our attention. I also see here crops and I think of crop damage. And that's another thing that the solar outbursts can create a massive storm cells on Earth. So, you know, big cyclones, hurricanes, that type of storm energy. And so we move to this card and we see the cave. And that also has that feeling. And he was here for April. Feeling of hunkering down, hiding from storms. Um, you know, the noise that comes with them. Surging, rushing, surging storms. It can also be volcanic activity because this is looks like the inside of a volcano so it could be an increase in volcanoes um, yeah we'll, we'll move on to the puzzle now this card 
I've been doing these readings for over three years and previously this card had never turned up and yet we've now had it three times in a year. We seem to acknowledge that it usually defines some moment in time that is part of a puzzle literally and it, it will be an event that goes in the books for making history. So it's, um, there'll be some big event in May or around that time, possibly slightly before May, that makes the history books. And it can be sometimes human related. So it could be about governments or, you know, war activities or something that we all go, oh, you've got to be joking. This is unbelievable. Twice, I think, when it's appeared, it's been about planes. So I'm really hoping that that's also not on the agenda. We've had enough plane issue in the last year, so we'd like to see that slow down. Um, yeah, hidden agenda, you know, what's behind these closed doors? No one seems to know that's part of the puzzle. So secret, secret, I was going to say companies, but I mean secret groups or elitism, stuff that's hidden from us, but things are definitely going on. And sometimes these type of, uh, I guess you could call them conspiracy type thoughts or activities jump to the fore. Um, the stars, we come back to this whole planetary mention. It's about planetary alignments. There could be some really big ones in May or something significant that uh, is quite powerful and affects us all in one way or another. It can also be about uh, space exploration, new information coming from space. So new stuff that we go, whoa, <laughs> hello, more evidence of something that we didn't believe existed that now does. Um, and it can also be just literally looking up at the skies and seeing something unusual or unplanned for or unexpected. We come to the moon, it was here in April, it's repeating itself, so often this gives us, you know, the moon and the cave both repeating themselves. So they have a kind of a stronger essence in their energy or their meaning. So something to do with the moon, could be a full moon, period of the full moon, the Tropic of Cancer and the Tropic of Capricorn, animals, so mass die-offs, I talked about that earlier on, and our seas, so something that mucks up our seas, whether it be weather related, so storm related, or quake related as in tsunami activity, or even um, animal or human related, but something affects our seas one way or another. So there we are people, thanks for following and watching, and again leave your thoughts below, I enjoy all your comments and all your individual hypotheses and what you speculate the cards mean and what the outcomes will possibly be. Yeah, another busy old month ahead, so um, grab a seat and hold on tight and we'll ride it out. So thanks guys, much peace to everyone. Namaste.